process is jumping into a relationship immediately um, after you, they discarded you or you uh, left them is all for your benefit. Hi guys, welcome to Go Parenting with Narcissist 101. I'm Kate. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload more videos. Guys, when the narcissist moved from uh, the relationship, you know, you left them or, or the, you know, they discarded you or whatever, and then the next week they're in a relationship, of course, you know, by now that is for your benefits because that's supposed to send a message uh, to you and to whoever that is watching. So, but the thing is, the narcissist, because everything is an act, the narcissist eventually gets tired of the charade with the new supply and your kids. You know what happens immediately, then they pick up the new, new next person and then you, that, that person and your kids are in social media, they're posting the picture everywhere. You know, you know, everything is for your benefit and, you know, it's to show you that, yeah, you know, we, we, we you know, we, you, you've been replaced um, as, a, as a new parent. Um... And, and of course, let everybody know around that, you know, you know, I'm not the problem of yours. I find somebody to love me right away. And they are the problem because, you know, they're still there, <laughs> you know. So thank God I left that crazy person and, you know, and, and now I'm with my soulmate. You know, understand? So that is the message they're trying to send. Of course, uh, we all know the last thing you want to do when you come out of the relationship is jump in the nest. And most people uh, do self-reflection. Uh, but that is not a narcissist because you know they can afford to do that they don't want to they can't handle what that means so when the narcissist and the new supply get together or they were you know <laughs> uh already getting together behind your back because you know there's always three or four people in the relationship minus you know uh including you uh that you, of course you're not aware of so when they are in the relationship you know what binds them together is you you are the one because you know they now the uh whoever it is that they're messing around with or cheating with while in the relationship with you has the hell on their head and you obviously uh, is uh, you, you and the devaluing stage uh, yes you can see that's eventually what happens and um so they bond over that they bond over the discussion maybe how crazy the wife is or how crazy the husband is you know, I can't wait till I leave them or, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, they don't do this, they don't do that. You know, so many lies are going on that, you know, they bond over that. So this is what holds the, the narcissist and the new supply together. So eventually when you jump out of the relationship, you leave or they discard you. And then they move on to the, uh, the new uh, supply, you know. Depending on what happens, if you, you you leave before they're ready, of course, you know, they're going to do a panic pick and then pick whatever it is in the group that is most available right then. <laughs> and then there you go. They are married. Boom. You know, so. But what ends up happening immediately after that is that, you know, they're still burning over you because now, now together they will come and start doing the whole show, Insta, the Instagram, uh, Facebook, all the social media platform. They'll have you. They have I me. Mean, I'm sorry, not you. They have the kids, your kids, and them. And you know, they do all that show. It is you know still for your benefit, of course. So they're still burning over uh, in quote your misery, you know, because God knows you know what they've told the new supply about you so the new supply is helping is saving them you know in quote saving them all from you that you know you're a terrible terrible person you know so this of course will continue but you notice that as you heal you know and more majority of what is being or this act you realize is an act is a show and it's not having less effect on you which means you're still reacting less to these things you don't you know first you know you block them everywhere and you don't deal with conversation from anybody from them you don't pass any message across either so nothing they are doing is affecting you you know as you're healing you see as time goes on and that is that uh reward that the narcissist gets <laughs> from trying to uh, you know annoy you with all these uh, things and eventually the that charade gets they, they get tired of it <laughs> because it gets boring because you you're less reactive you are not talking about it matter of fact you give them your blessing <laughs> you know you have nothing in it anymore like you 
it is what it is. You you're done. There's no, there's nothing to to react to. You you are not you don't you're not concerned. All you're worried about is how you and the and the narcissist will, you know will raise you know the kids or whatever. So you don't much care how which supply number they are on and everything. So once once you get to that part of your healing that that's how you are. Yes, the narcissist notices this. So. Whatever joy that they get from the whole triggering thing and trying to get you to do, you know, say something or feel some type of way or, you know, like, like for example, the narcissist sends uh, emails me about uh, the, uh, the, the kid that he has with a new supplier birthday, you know, talking about how my kids can come over when that is not, uh, you know, you know, the weekend with him. So, but he wants to let me know that uh, about the birthday of the child, like... I know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> you know. So, but as time goes on, and you don't feel any type of way about this, and you know nothing, you will see that that bond that they had with the new supply starts to diminish, and the whole act, the whole charade with the new supply and the kid, will go away because there's it's not fun anymore for the for the narcissist. You know, they don't, they're not getting anything out of it anymore. And of course, because they're acting, it gets exhausting. They can't put up, you know, with the show. You know, so you have the narcissist that is every weekend, they're taking the kids out and the kids are new supply. Everybody's going out. You know, it becomes, a, you know, every weekend thing. And you're like, wow, when did this start? You know, <laughs> so uh, they can't sustain that because it's not real. You know, so once all the that show and the it has less effect on you you see that everything it, 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 they get bored and uh, of course that's when the new supply is obviously is in trouble because yeah, it is you know what i need you for uh, is done so they're not gonna be seeking for a new high and so when you've removed yourself in the situation in the form of um i don't feel anything that they're doing i don't care what they're doing it doesn't matter that's you know they're dating somebody new they're dating somebody new so you see uh, there's nothing for them to bond over anymore, you know. They, 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 they're not with, they're not stuck with the two of them. So uh, the stages start, <laughs> you know, of the normal order of things with the narcissist and relationship. So the narcissist will get tired with the charade because, like, of course, with everything with them is an act. So uh, if they're demanding more time with the kids in the beginning, you know, they're trying to show the new supply some type of person that they supposedly are and everything and he will you know it was in the beginning he's like boom 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 they want to do the most with the kids and you see that dwindling down as time goes on as you uh you know you are not really paying attention you're not really you know dragging the issues really it starts bringing down to the point that it might be you that is like okay um you're not gonna go come pick up the kids because it went from like 100 to zero you know so because the, the act, the show has finished, there's no more um, uh, uh, reward that they get from it, you know. So, because everything is a charade with these people, because it is an act, you know, that they put on, and you know, they, you know, for fortunately, throw your kids in the mist, you know. Eventually, that wears off because nothing is consistent with these people. It's, it's not sustainable with these people. They are not. I don't even. I think that the thing is, um, they probably think they're going to sustain it, but I'm sure they know that <laughs> nothing really lasts with them. So you observe as you is, as when you leave the relationship or they leave you, that all that show that happens in the beginning with your children and the new supply. And then as time goes on and uh, you have um, pretty much nothing to say, say about it or feel about it one way or the other. And then it comes, to, it starts going down to, and, and then there's nothing really, you know. So, because that's the narcissist, you know, they, they get tired of playing the game. They get tired of the show. They Now they want to jump into another another play. This one is, you know, played out. <laughs> so they want to go to something else, you know. So that is a natural order of the narcissist. They will get tired of the charade that they put the narcissist, they, they're playing with the kids and, and, and the new supply. Because everything is for your benefit, and as soon as you detach from any kind of feeling, as soon as you completely detach, as soon as you're out of the way, whether you're discarded or you abandon, you're leaving them. Um, you realize the bond that the narcissist has with it, with that new supply, 
it, you know, it goes away because most of, most of the time, what binds them, binds them together is you, you know, and the, the lies they're telling about you. So when that is removed, they have nothing else to hold on to. So, voila, <laughs> the natural of order of things with the, with the narcissist, you know, uh, starts. <laughs> All right, guys, get your mind together and everything else will fall into place.